All right, so what's up, YouTube fans? It's the Bayliner Capri. Um, what is it? 2050 LS uh, model. It's giving everybody an update on what I've got done so far. If you look right here, you can see where I've got pretty much everything ripped out of this boat at this point. Getting ready to start all the rebuilds here fairly soon. Today, I'm gonna knock out this box here, get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of these back boxes too because I know they're probably saturated with water. Uh, surprisingly enough, on a note of good news, as I've gone through this, the stringers are actually good. I did not think they would be good. Uh, it's not common on this, you know, on these boats, they're built fairly cheap. But I mean, you could see where surprisingly enough, the stringers were encapsulated really well. Um, when you get up towards the section right up here, right where the stringer basically caps off, which this is a secondary stringer. You can see the first line of the stringers right about there. This is a secondary stringer, which is just simply for mounting up where um, the cap's gonna sit at and hold out. So these are all gonna be cut out. So I'll get rid of that. But the main stringer system right here, shockingly enough, is in excellent shape. But like I said, today's goal is we're gonna eliminate all these boxes here. So I'll go down and I'll cut all of it right along this edge here, right down here, right around here, and all the way through the bottom. And I'll pull these boxes completely out right here, along with the other side. I'll cut these out here. All these are is, uh, uh, they act as a stabilizer for the main cap. And it, I'm sure it has some kind of structural stability with the boat itself. But I mean, as flimsy as they are, I'd say they're probably mirror for the seat mounting in the rear, as far as, um, any general purpose use. I, I highly doubt they have a major role in structure of this boat. It looks like all the stuff that you see right down here, all the little cross members and then the main stringers, that's your main structure for this boat. But that's my plan. Um, to help anybody out, should you ever choose to do this job, <clears throat> what you wanna do to make your life a whole lot easier, go through and cut all these out way at the bottom so you can pull these whole entire assemblies completely out and then when you get them into the garage you know just dissect it and you know cut the pieces and basically replicate exactly what you got right here that's the easiest way i found to do these matter of fact that's how i did a lot of the um cuts on the main side panels and stuff you look i also save all of this stuff all this is the covering all the upholstery from the original from the original boat the reason i save it is so i can get an idea a generalized idea of the length and then the basic pattern. That way when I go to sew up these patterns, I know exactly what I what the boat used to look like. I try maintaining the basic integrity look of the boat. Well, you can see right in here, excuse my music, but right here's all the panels. There's one, here's more panels. That's the box for the uh, engine. Here's all your side covers, uh, front main covers. Come back here. Here's more cut covers. Um, basically, all the interior wood is completely cut at this point. You can see where it's all just sitting here. So now it's just a matter of throwing some resin on it and being done with it. Um, on the engine cover, however, instead of just throwing resin on it, the engine cover is actually going to get a full uh, fiberglass matte coat that'll go around that whole entire perimeter of that engine. Um, you can see how it's set up right here. At one point in time, it used to be completely covered. It's no longer the case anymore. But I'll show you when I get done. See, like right here, you can see how it's been, you know, for over the years, somebody's tried repairing it. This will all get knocked down, and it'll all just be completely restored to what it should have looked like when it was new. But keep following my videos. Uh, if you like my videos, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to, you know, to go ahead and message me. I'll gladly answer, you know, whatever questions I can to the best of my ability. And with that being said, I hope everybody has a great day. And I look forward to uh, continuing on with this series. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.